I want to talk about Revelation 3, 14. You've got a Bible there. Now this is the church of Laodicea. Known as the lukewarm church. These things says the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. I would wish you were cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. King James Version says, I will spew you out of my mouth. Because you say, I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked, I counsel you to buy from me gold, refined in the fire. Gold represents faith. Refined in the fire that you may be rich in white garments, that you may be clothed, and that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see. Part of the problem is seeing and hearing. Part of the problem is we get into routines and we can't see and hear what has been preached. The Lord says that preach as the oracles of God. And that's what hopefully what I'm trying to do this morning. But you see, I do not have to make those words have their effect. I don't have to cry over the fact that you might not hear. That's up to you. And it's up to God to put the words into my mouth and let them have effect. He says the sword of the Lord is sharp and it's two-edged. It's sharp. It's like a scalpel and a razor and it does the job. When you preach to somebody out there or witness to somebody out there and you use the scripture or whatever that God has given you, it will do something. God anoints that word. And that's what our job is, is to be instant in season and to always have a word of encouragement, one after the other, and in love. We went to men's meeting last night and I showed a, a thing, a 180, 180 return. And it started at the beginning with a whole lot of young people that didn't know a lot of stuff about anything much. But when it got to the end, they were convicted because he preached the word. And he was sharp. And he probably would have got kicked out of a lot of churches for preaching the way he did we discussed that and talked about it. But it had an effect. It had an effect. So, the lukewarm church, he says, oh, well, no, what's he spewing out of my mouth? Well, hey, that's not a very nice thing. We are meant to be the church of God, yet what have they done? They've got lukewarm. That means they've gone and put the Bible in their back pocket, or not even in their back pocket. And they're not standing on the promises of God and they're not doing what God says. It's a big thing. Faith is a doing word. Faith is not just a word that sits there and does nothing. You have to do something. You've got to keep your garments clean. So it says here, as many as I love, I counsel you, buy from me gold refined in the fire, that you may be rich in white, in white garments, that you may be clothed. So get white garments off me as well, that the shame of your nakedness may, may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes for thyself, that you may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Repent, 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 seems to be a message right through the Bible. From way back to Israel, way back to the early men of old, repentance is required. That means knowing your shortcomings and knowing that God has a promise for you that he covers that. That's the promise of the New Testament and the New Covenant. Jesus Christ came down and died on the cross to take our inadequacies, our sins and our sicknesses, past, present and future. But the key to acknowledging that is what the children of Israel had to do with the blood of that land, the sacrifice land. In order to stop 
the angel of death coming in and killing the, the firstborn in that family, they had to put the blood from the pot up the lintels and on the, in the archway of the door. They had to put the blood, which is what we do. We cover ourselves in the blood. We defeat the enemy by the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. And it says that we, we, we hate our lives till, till the death. Why do we despise ourselves? Because we desire to be closed upon from our robe, our, our, our tent, our building from heaven. And we want to be with the Lord. Paul wanted to be with the Lord. But we're still stuck here in the flesh that needs to sit on the toilet every now and again. Putting it bluntly. The flesh that fails us. The mind that fails us. The eyes that fail us. The ears that don't hear when they should be. When the Lord is prompting you, that there's a sick person down there. If they had prompted Peter and the sick person hadn't called out, he wouldn't have got healed. We see it all the time. It's all around us. This whole video, the one only was about abortions. What are we doing? We're standing there condoning it. Because we're not saying something about it. We're condoning it. They said since abortions came in, something like 56 million babies have been killed. One of the key words he said there, now you just, you just add on to this, add, on, add, add the words onto this. It's okay to kill a child in the womb when? Fill in the gap. It's okay to kill a child in the womb when? A lot of those young kids are stuck. Well, oh, really, uh, well, well, uh, I don't think there is a reason. They've always adopted out of the garden. Uh, what are you doing? And we are a generation of that's standing there condoning that. It's happened in our lifetime. The legalization of abortion. We are a generation that's standing there condoning it. It's happened in our lifetime. The legalization of abortion. And we're just like those people that live next to our switch and watch the concentration camps with <coughs> the smoke burning out there every day. We're just like them. Standing there saying, um, well, you can't be doing anything bad out there. They can find it out for laughing. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, he says in verse 20. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and with the him with me. Dine with him and he with me. He will come in and dine with me. He's invited us to the supper of the marriage supper of the Lamb. We saw in the video, we need to be ready. Our garments need to be ready. He's knocking at the door of his church. He's going to spew the church, the lukewarm church, out of his mouth. He's knocking at the door of the church and saying, let me in so we can have supper. I want to come in and have communion with you. I had a dream the other night. I wasn't feeling particularly flash about anything. But um, we were, I was at a meeting and I was sitting over there. Ingrid was up in front and uh, she was saying, um, we've got to step in to the anointing. We've got to step in. We've got to step in. And, and she's walking back and forth. She called each one up and she was standing with them and praying with them. We've got to step into the anointing. And, but the anointing was, didn't seem to be really happening, but it hit me. And I was zapped. And I had everything happening, and, and I was praying, and, and, and uh, tears were happening, and I was just, and, and I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I just wanted to bathe in this situation that I was in. And I woke up in the same state. And this was about three in the morning, and all I wanted to do was pray and stay in that state until 6.30. And I got out of bed. What is that? God's reminding me that you have to step in. You have to step in and take what is yours. Violent, take it by force in the last days. Take it, use it. Get what, is, what is, he, he has desired for you to have. I was praying in tongues. 
tongues weren't coming out, but the tongues were happening in here. And they were happening in here. When I woke up, they were happening in here. I didn't have to say anything. They were happening in here. And I was, for an hour, for a few hours, that's what was happening. Get it. Get the gifts. Get the healing. Get the anointing. Get what God the Father desires for you to have. Don't let it just sit there in the back pocket with the water.